Yo, what is up guys? Underscore Gomi here. Might be looking at, you know, my screen and seeing that stuff is a little bit different. Like I have a different CPS counter, as you can see my trash CPS. And I have a different FPS counter and I even have a ping counter. Now that is because I've switched over to Bad Lion Client. And the reason I did that is because that gives me a huge FPS boost compared to using Forge. And overall just has a lot more mods and they're all like, you know, put together in one simple to use GUI. Now, unfortunately for new users, the GUI is not so simple. So Today, I'm going to be giving a full tutorial on how to use and set up Bad Lion Client. Let's get into the video. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is head on over to client.badline.net slash download. I'll leave the link in the description. Pick whatever computer you got. Uh, for this instance, I have Windows, so I'm going to go ahead and download that. All you have to do is, once it's downloaded, is click this and click yes. And because I already have it installed, I'm not going to go through all this. But you basically just click through until it installs and it'll install for you. So once you have Badline Client installed, you're going to have this little guy right here. So just go ahead and double click on that and it'll ask you if you want to run it as an administrator. So just press yes and you'll get a GUI like this. Um, probably going to start out on the homepage. You don't really have to worry about all this because this is just kind of like news and all that. And yeah, all the form stuff. So what you're going to want to do is you want to go to play. And what I like to do to give my game like the best play, I have a lot of RAM. I have 32 gigabytes of RAM. Never go above half of what you have. I'm using 12,000 megabytes, which is equal to 12 gigabytes. So if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, I would recommend going with 8,000 megabytes and your game should run pretty good. I also set the resolution to 1920 by 1080, but you could also set it to 1280 by 720 if you don't have like a powerful computer. The game will look basically the same, just a little bit less crisp if you have a 1080p display. Okay, now that that's all out of the way, all you're going to want to do is press, this is, you're going to want use OptiFine to be turned on, and you know, whatever version you're playing, I play on 1.8.9, and just hit launch. So once you are in game, you're going to notice it looks a lot different than normal Minecraft. Don't worry, a lot of it's useless, you don't really got to click on much of it. Um, you got your classic single player, multiplayer, and then cosmetics, store. If you, if you want to buy cosmetics, you can. I mean, they cost money, like, I mean, $10 for a bandana, it's just not my forte. Here's your normal Minecraft options where you can check all of your settings and everything. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this. There's also mod profiles, so you can make different profiles for mods. So I'm in the game on my test world right now. Um, as you can see, it's just a bridge in the world. It's just for testing purposes. So basically, yeah, let's just jump right into it. So what you're going to want to do is when you hit the pause menu, you're going to want to go to bad line client settings. And here is every single like mod that is installed. So personally, these are my settings. I just have all this kind of optimized for high pixel. You can go ahead and do what you want. I'm just going to use armor status as an example. So you go into it and you can like kind of see you can, you know, change stuff up. Like you can change this to horizontal if you want. You can make it only just like display the durability differently. It's all personal preference. And then this animations right here is 1.7 animations for anyone wondering why they couldn't find it. Uh, I personally don't like them all on. I only have those two on. That's that's just me. And another thing I'm going to go over really quick is I don't use normal CPS. I actually use um, keystrokes for my CPS. To get it to just show the clicks per second is you want to go to keystrokes, enable it, and then turn off basically everything. You're going to want to turn off um, direction to none, and then you're going to want to turn off show space, and you'll just get the CPS mod. Now, yes, that's basically all the mods, so you can kind of play around with that a little bit. Uh, you will notice, though, when you turn them on, they will not go to the location that you want them to. So that's why you click on the enable GUI editing. So you click on that and you're going to be able to drag pretty much everything around on the screen where you want to. This is how I have mine set up. Um, I know there's other setups that people like, but this is how I do mine. I might change it to like this or something that actually looks a lot better and gives me a lot more space on top of the screen. So if you press this little lock right here, if stuff are next together, you can also lock it where they, you know, move as a unit together, which is, I think it's pretty helpful. Um, doesn't really make sense if you do it with like that. I guess it does if you want like several mods grouped together and they like stay together. So the next thing that I'm going to be going over is the graphics tab. So this is going to be better frames and other graphic settings. Um, as a YouTuber, I play in full screen just so it captures my entire screen. So one really helpful setting that I find in here is borderless full screen. I turn that on so I'm able to like go for my second monitor. Works good. Ping numbers is on just so you can see. Yep, so you can see everyone else's ping in the game, which is, I think it's pretty cool. It's not going to be the most accurate thing ever, but it's going to give you a general idea of, like, who's lagging, if you're lagging, or, like, what's going down. Now, I don't really mess with the Insider tab, because I'm pretty sure you have to pay money for that, and you can, like, write stuff above your head. It's just, it's kind of worthless, I think. It's really not that difficult of a client, honestly, to figure out. Like, it really is pretty basic, and when I drink a potion, you know, it just shows up on the side, which is, you know, pretty nice. 
Um, that's why I like Bad Lion Client. It's got pretty much every feature that anyone needs and, you know, you can use. Um, I guess while I'm doing this video, I will also show you guys my Optifine settings. So keep in mind, these settings are optimized for a higher end PC. So do not put these settings on a laptop. You will get lag. So I'm going to go to options and then I use this FOV of 88 because that's personal preference. Video settings. I do have uh, fancy light, fancy graphics, maximum smooth lighting, full bright. Uh, this should be at eight. I don't know why it's a 10. Uh, for details, uh, I use clouds off because my texture pack clouds look really fancy. Also, I use smart trees, so it's like the full branches, but they don't look like fancy. I, I don't care. I can't tell the difference. Fog off. Definitely. You want to turn fog off. It just makes the game look so much better. Fast vignette. Cloud height and it's just off. And rain and snow fast. That's pretty much all it is. Smooth biomes and entity shadows also on. It doesn't really make too much of a difference for multiplayer, but for single player, it does add a little bit of quality. Now, I also use view bobbing, VBOs, and dynamic of a V. I don't really know what a lot of these do. And in quality, I have mid map levels on four, mid map type trilinear. That's not really going to affect your performance, but one thing that I never do use is anisotropic filtering and anti-aliasing for Optifine just because it destroys your frame rate. And then all these, you know, they're slightly different. There's better frames, clear water, which is, you know, cool. You can, like, make the water clear. It doesn't really matter to me because I don't really go swimming too much in Minecraft. In performance, I have smooth FPS off, fast render on, chunk updates on, lazy chunk loading off, smooth, smooth world, fast math, both on, and dynamic updates off. Those are the settings that work for me. Um, they're pretty high, and I still get, like... I, usually a thousand FPS in a Bedwars game, which is pretty good. I also have a pretty decent computer. As you can see, I have a Ryzen 5 3600X and a 2060. So if you guys have something pretty high end, I think these settings will work pretty good for you. One more thing before I wrap this video up. Um, as you guys know, my game does not look as jagged as some other games. So what I do, because I have an NVIDIA GPU, this only works if you have an NVIDIA GPU. There are other ways if you have a AMD GPU, but I can't show that because I have an NVIDIA one. So you right click on your desktop, you go to NVIDIA control panel, and then once you're in here, what I like to do is I like to go to program settings. Um, I think it works no matter what you're on for anti-aliasing. Like I didn't change anything for Badline Client, but for normal Minecraft, you're going to want to find your C program files. You're going to want, you're basically just want to go to this directory right here, which is if you go to add and then browse, you're just going to go to this PC, local disk, program files 86, go all the way down to Minecraft launcher. Runtime, JRE, bin, and Java W, and then just click open, and then that'll add the program for you. So yeah, do that if you're using Badline Client, if you want anti-aliasing. This actually does not hurt your performance that much, which is really nice. So what you're going to do, it kind of looks different for everyone's computer, but the settings that I found work for me is I just turn anti-aliasing, FXAA on, gamma correction on, mode to override, um, setting to 8x, transparent to 8x, and you go all the way down to here. Um, I didn't change any of these settings. They changed themselves. But then I turned triple buffering to on. Don't worry about these. Just turn triple buffering on. And then you're also going to want to go to adjust image settings with preview. And make sure this is use the advanced 3D image settings. And then that'll end up working pretty good. You, sh you shouldn't get any weird lines in your screen. If you do, just end up going back to manage 3D settings. And you can basically set these all back to use a global setting. And it'll all work just fine. I hope you guys like my settings video. Um, if I went a little bit too fast, I'm sorry. That's just how I speak. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I will reply to every single question that you guys have. To the best of my ability, of course. And yeah, thanks for watching. My name is underscore Gomi, and peace out.